guys, here we are with Nancy Drew, Danger by Design. It's been a long time since I've played a Nancy Drew game, and I thought it would be really fun to try one again now that it's a nostalgia game for me. So here we are, and we're at Nancy Drew's desk. Uh, got some got some cool stuff here, like this little thing. Uh, I think that might actually be some memorabilia from some of her other cases, but I don't know. This isn't the first one I've played in a really long time, so maybe it's significant, maybe it's not. Uh, got a book here about how to be a detective. Lots of tutorials here, very, very helpful stuff. I went through all that um, so that we wouldn't have to do that together. It wasn't very fun, honestly, you guys, so you didn't miss anything. And we got, uh, got the case file here, so let's see what the mystery is that we are going to be solving. So, uh, cover assignment. Ah, so this is, this is what we're gonna be pretending to do. Travel to Paris and work as an assistant to Minette, an up and coming American fashion designer whose behavior has lately become alarmingly bizarre and erratic. She's been firing people right and left, throwing temper tantrums, refusing to return phone calls, running dangerously behind schedule, wearing a full face mask all day, every day, even while working. <laughs> that is weird. <laughs> huh, that's gonna be fun. All right, so our real assignment, uh, discover the reason for Minette's strange behavior and report back to Amy Grunhild, a client of dad's and Minette's biggest financial backer who wants to know, one, is Minette cracking under the pressure of trying to make her spring collection even more spectacular than her fall collection was? I mean, I think those four, the first four things on the list, you could just say she's a little stressed, but wearing a full face mask all day, every day? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say that's a mystery that's halfway solved already. All right. Uh, number two, will she have enough designs done for there to even be a spring collection? Okay. Three, is she up to something Ms. Grunhild doesn't know about? Four, was investing in Minette a mistake? Five, is it time to pull the financial plug on her? So it's all about Minette's job. Additional info, Minette has one other assistant, an American named Heather, with whom I will be working. Her studio is in an old windmill, Moulin, in French. Oh, so so that movie Moulin Rouge, that it means, does that mean red windmill? I don't know. In a section of Paris called Montmartre. Okay, so now let me know what that is all about. I think it's time that we head to Paris. Yes. Um, junior level provides a lot of help and hints. Yup, I think that's how it's gonna go. We're gonna play, play junior. Here we go. Across the Atlantic Ocean. These flights are really, really long. That's so weird when you land because the the sun's just in the wrong place. We're gonna have some serious jet lag, jet lag, you guys. Nice, nice. Hello. Oh. Oh. Stay back, you hear me? Stay back! <laughs> Bonjour. Who's that? I mean, are you Nancy? Uh, yeah. I'm Heather McKinney. She's well, still no. screaming. So glad you're here. How was your flight? Uh, fine. Well, actually, they lost my suitcase, so I don't have any clothes or my cell phone. But what's going on in there? Is someone hurt? That's just Minette throwing one of her tantrums. Don't worry. She'll stop screaming right now. They lost your suitcase? That's terrible. Well, at least you're staying with Jing Jing. She'll have tons of clothes you can borrow. That's not me crying, right? That's Minette. Yeah, I don't think I'm crying. Yeah, okay. Is she alright? Does this happen a lot? Is she alright? Is she alright? Oh, you mean Minette? She's fine. At least she will be after phase three, which should begin right about now. Ooh. See, she uses this process 
that some shrink taught her to manage anger and frustration. First, she vents her rage for 10 seconds, then six seconds of sobs and tears, and finally, at least four seconds of robust laughter, all of which restores her positive flux. Huh? It's all very weird, but it works, and believe me, without it, she would be impossible to work for. With it, she's a mere nightmare to work for. Anyway, ready to get started? <laughs> I need a uh, a method like that. It's uh it's a little bit disturbing. I don't know that I want to meet this minute. Is the first thing she's gonna do kill me with the uh, with a potted plant? All right, let's see. You bet that depends. I think we're ready. We're ready. You bet. That desk over there will be your workstation. I made a list of all the things that need to get done and put them on your computer. That's a metro pass. It'll let you ride the subway all over the city for free. Go ahead and take it. That's handy. Answering the phone is your job. If you have any questions, just ask. Ask me, that is. Do not bother Manette. Got it. <laughs> She's behind on her spring collection and is in danger of falling way behind on her couture projects. Ah. Couture projects? Well, she's a fashion designer, right? Why is she so Why far is she behind? so far behind? She's been... Under a lot of stress lately. Heather? Yes? I hear voices. Who are you talking to out there? Nancy Drew. You know, from the States? Well, she's no good to me out there. Send her in. Yes, Manette. As soon as you feel up to it, she's right through that door. All right. What do you mean by couture? High fashion dresses and accessories that people have commissioned Manette to create. Needless to say, those people are très riche, in fact. She's designing the dress the First Lady will wear to the World Summit in November. Pretty cool, huh? That is pretty cool. Um, I think I actually am excited about meeting her. We're going to get to see this mask. Talk to you later. Okay. All right, here we are. Ooh. Pretty stuff. Pretty stuff. What do What's we got? in this folder? That's a project I'm working on. Well, supposed to be working on. I don't get to see it. Top secret project. Top secret was in here. Oh, I got some stuff. My long distance calling card. Call people, tell them that I'm stranded here with no clothes. What else, what else we had? Oh, well, that's the case file. Right, and this is Heather. Oh, yes. All right. Do, do, do. Anything else here that's interesting? To look at no whoa what is this big machine what's this that's the plotter it's broken fixing it is one of your jobs i don't know that i'm qualified i've never seen one of these before Ooh. Ooh. well you know the solution you just don't have everything up to max Oh, oh no. That's not a good sound. Oh, maybe it's just printing. It's just printing. I don't know what we're printing. What do we have? Ah. Well, that's probably why it's broken. That doesn't look good. Okay. I'm sure we need to know more about other stuff to do this, so we'll just leave this alone for now. Okay. Isn't this kind of funny in video games how someone says, I need to see you right now, and then you spend, you know, 20 minutes just messing around and they never even notice? Huh. Sunny was here. <laughs> oh, we got some games, we got some mail, we got our to-do list. Let me check this out later. What else we got? Is that it? That's all we can see over here. Can we check out this? Yes. Ooh. These doodles sure look familiar. Sonny. Sonny June did them. He must have been Manette's last assistant. Wow, that guy gets around. Like to outer space to see the aliens. All right, so he likes chocolate. What are all these Cocoa Kringle? Oh. <laughs> Bet you that's Manette. Um, <laughs> all right, so just some, just some doodles here, I guess. Whimsical doodles. Okay. Ooh, phone. Phone. 
Oh, so I would still have to use my own calling card. I remember that. I had a calling card in um, in London, but I haven't had one here. Let's see. Leave and that let's... alone, okay? Ooh. Sure. <laughs> Fine. I guess we're going to have to look at that when you aren't here. Well, this is snazzy. And high heels and your poodle. <laughs> is that a high heel on the poodle? Or is that just be careful with your high heels around your poodle? All right, mascara mayhem. Fru fru for you. Okay, Hugo Butterfly. Oh my, okay. Uh, do we care about Hugo? Whoa, with his pit bull Minette? Okay. Did he name the dog after Minette? Or was this just a coincidence? For two years, fashion fanatics on both sides of the Atlantic have gobbled up the stylistic confections of Hugo Butterfly with an enthusiasm that shows no signs of stopping. As a result, the designer has not only outgrown the tiny London loft where he started out a mere four years ago, but it seems he's outgrown his native England as well. Last month, he opened his new studio in Paris, out of which he now intends to work. Being invited to the opening was like being invited to the presidential palace, only better, much better. Celebrities from all over the globe descended on the studio, located on trendy Ile de Saint Louis. Okay. Um, oh my gosh. So they're wearing butterflies. Yep. Yep. Free flowing, full figure flattering styles that are a signature, difficult to tell the guests from the models. But as the night wore on, it became apparent that there were more people in attendance who didn't have invitations than people who did. A fact which infuriated the designer, who had deliberately limited the number of guests to reduce the risk of damage to his new facility. Although several people said that Butterfly was practically purple with rage that night, he said nothing to any of his guests and had no one thrown out, but within a week, all the party crashers had gotten a bill for 300 euros, which they were told they had to pay or they'd be charged with trespassing. Within another week, all had paid. He just shrugged. They took advantage of me and they paid for it. I'm not very good at forgiving and forgetting. I may be the world's greatest fashion designer, but I'm afraid I'm not a very nice person. All right. Well, he's probably going to become important at some point. So should we stop messing around? Should we go see? Should we go see Minette? Ooh, I'm so excited. There's something on the floor here. Looks like someone slipped it under the door. It's for <laughs> Minette. Go ahead and open it. Nice. Look at that. You've got the um magazine letters. I bet you it's from Hugo Butterfly. Make the most of what little time you have left. Soon it will all be over. Oh no, not another one. Minette's gotten other letters like this? Letters, phone calls. They started sometime in April, then they stopped, then they started up again in July. And last month, someone sent Minette dead flowers every day for a week. She locks the letters up in her dodo box over there in order to neutralize them. Oh! <laughs> That's not nice. That's not nice at all. If you've got a stalker, I mean, I'm, a mask is probably not going to help with a stalker. But, I mean, I can understand why she'd be a little bit weirded out. Should I give this letter to Minette? Just put it in the dodo box. How do you open this thing? You don't. There's a lock on it, but Minette is convinced that if she opens it, all the wickedness in there will escape and wreak havoc. In fact, don't say anything to her about that letter. It'll just upset her. And if she falls any further behind, she'll have to cancel her show next month. And if that happens, she may as well cancel her career. Well, why did you tell me to put the letter in the dodo box if you know that the dodo box can't be opened? Okay. Talk to you later. Ale, bye bye. All right. Um, but isn't this the door? Through which Minette is? Wasn't Minette on the other side of that door? Is there some other door? Oh, that was the front door. I'm supposed to go this door. Well, there you are. I was just about to call Amy Brunhild and tell her that this internship thing she'd arranged for you was off. Ooh. It's bad enough Amy foisting you on me like this. The day I become financially independent and can tell people like her to buzz off will be the happiest day of my life. Well, you're here, we've met, so get to work. Heather did give you a list of chores, right? No. 
I. Hmm. Could I ask you a couple of questions first? No. One more thing. See that form over there? The one I just started to drape? Don't touch it. Don't even go near it. That's the dress I'm designing for the first lady. Ooh. Now go. Actually, make me a pot of my special tea first. It was custom blended by my tea therapist, so make sure you follow the directions. When you're done, pour me a cup and leave it on the table. A nice big boost of herbal energy never fails to get my brain cells firing. All right, already fetching tea. This is a proper internship, isn't it? All right, what else we got? Um, sewing machine. I probably can't touch that either. Yeah. Yeah, nothing, 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 nothing. Let's see. To make my her tea, the first thing I should do is read these instructions. Uh -huh. Then I should put whichever herbs the instructions say I need into this pot of boiling water. Then when I'm done, I should click on the teapot so I can pour the tea into a cup. If I make a mistake, I need to throw out an herb that I chose, or the tea itself. All I have to do is click on the sink. Okay, I think I'm ready. Uh. Okay. After a painstaking analysis of her body type, age, mood swings, eating habits, and lifestyle, I have formulated the following blend for Minette and for Minette only. Please note the consequences of anyone but Minette drinking this tea could be catastrophic. <laughs> Why? Okay. If the tea is blended correctly, it will have a pleasant taste and an instant soothing effect. If made incorrectly, it will taste foul and have a negative effect on mood. Therefore, the guidelines below must be strictly adhered to. Wait, what were they? Is that it? Oh, here we are. Oh, man. That is a lot of herbs. I don't even think, think that these are all herbs. I mean, what is an orange slug? <laughs> Yellow buttons? Uh, well, it's not all of these, is it? If Manette has had a temper tantrum in the last 14 days, and if she declares that blue is her favorite color on a tape. Excuse me, Manette, but what's your favorite color? Red. Okay. <laughs> And if she declares blue is her favorite color. Okay, so this one we don't do. Um, if Danette is relaxed, is not trying to meet a deadline, add Beowulf and yellow buttons. If she's right-handed on the day the tea is to be consumed, add herbs that are in the Java form family. If Danette is wearing a dress, include all herbs from the answer family. Okay, <laughs> so she picked red and ten. This is a puzzle. This is just a puzzle. Okay, um, when she's stressed out, add not humming, and those herbs with the potency of seven or greater. Finally, if Minette says her favorite color is red, add those herbs which grow in marshy areas. More about the herbs. Oh, man. We're going to have to learn a lot of stuff about herbs, you guys. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, okay. We can figure this out. We can figure this out. She's had a temper tantrum, and if she declares it's blue, then red blooms. Okay, so we don't need to worry about that one. If Minette is relaxed, she's not trying to meet a deadline, add Beowulf and yellow buttons. I don't know if she is. So, did she say she was? I don't remember. All right, if she's right-handed. Oh, I can go look. Right-handed dress, okay. Right-handed dress, she picked 10. She, not humming. Okay, so let's go look at her. I'll work on this later. <laughs> I'll get your tea when I feel like it. Okay, so she's definitely using her right hand. That's not a dress, those are definitely pants. Is she humming? That's just the accordion. She's not humming. All right. Uh, is she trying to meet a deadline? I want that tea, Nancy. She's probably trying to meet a deadline. Relax. No, she's right-handed. All right. So we need everything from the Gavaform family. 
And she's not wearing a dress, so we don't need to worry about that. So we just need, so far, all we need right now is Gaviform. All right, she picked 10. If she chooses an odd number, all right, we don't have to worry about that. On those days when Minette is stressed out, yes, and feels drawn to odd numbers and to the color blue. Oh, okay, no. Uh, if she's not humming, we need potency seven or greater. And if she says her favorite color is red, other herbs which grow in marshy areas. So now I have to go through this and find out which ones we need. Okay, all right, so we need Boojum. Marshy areas, Breelin. Yeah, that's Summer and a Greater, Calicula. Gibbering, whoa, 22. Okay, that is intense. Hogbone, all right, eight, so it's in. Finellary, I'm gonna make the best tea, you guys. Macrophilia, there's no way this can be good. Phrygia, nine, it's in. Uh, Pipsweet is in. Varvain, yellow buttons, that's it, right? That's all there is. So I think we got it right. I think we got this, so now we just need, we just need uh, Boojum. Yeah, put some Boojum in there. Uh, some Breland. Yep. Let's get some Breland. Let's get some Caligula. Yeah. Yummy. Gibbering. It's hard to read these. Okay. Gibbering. Uh, Hogbone. Fenellery. How in the world does anyone ever know someone so well? That they can just make this tea. I think we're putting in pretty much everything. <laughs> Macrophila. What's this? Yeah. Okay. Phrygia. Uh, Pip Sweet. Oh my gosh, Farbain. <sighs> okay. And yellow buttons. Can't forget the yellow buttons. All right. Um, click the teapot. Here, the tea. I finished making your tea. Just leave it there. Okay. I'm leaving. shoes um but i'm not sure what you want stuff i want stuff new stuff that's just like this old stuff only different now just take a good look at my stuff then go go okay well at least she liked the tea right all that work was worth it, it made her creativity flow it's pretty awesome so what the heck I'm supposed to find stuff that looks like the- I mean, well, it's all round stuff? Some of it holds stuff. I don't even know what this is. Is that a frisbee? I mean, that's not a frisbee. There's a button thing on top. I should probably know what it is, but I don't know what it is. So we've got a stool, a bucket, a big, giant can thing. Whoa. This seems hard. All right. We're leaving. Okay, so I was also supposed to apparently have some sort of to-do list from Heather. Forget something? Um... Why does Lynette wear that mask? All I know is that back in March, on the last day of her big fall show, she showed up wearing that mask and she hasn't taken it off since. Hmm. You didn't know what she was going to do? You didn't know she was going to do that? And she's never bothered, bothered to explain why? 
and she's never bothered to explain why. Sometimes she refuses to say. Other times she says it's because some mysterious man in black threw acid on her. Mm -hmm. I think it's because she just likes to get people's tongues wagging. Has this windmill or moulin always been a fashion design studio? No. In fact, until a year or two ago, this little old lady lived here. When she passed away, this place went on the market and Minette snapped it up. See, Minette has this thing about curves. She claimed working in a quasi-round environment like this would make her more productive. <laughs> and has it? As if. But she has gotten a lot of press out of it. In fact, if there's one thing I've learned from Minette, it's that how a designer behaves is likely to get her just as much attention in the fashion world as what she designs. All right. Sounds good. She's really into round things. Thanks for your help. Have fun. Okay. So I'm supposed to go... Oh man, I don't remember where I was supposed to go. Wait. Oh. Oh. Um. Does this help me? No, it's my long distance calling thing. I guess I could call people. Well, I'm supposed to go. I'm supposed to go downtown and look for stuff for her. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Pont Neuf. Good. So they knew where I was supposed to go. Do do do. Man, we should just go to the Louvre. We should just go to the Eiffel Tower. Sounds way more. We got money. We can get in. Ah, we're here. All right. So we need to get. We need to get stuff. Get so. Oh. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Oh, what is that nice building? I wonder what that is. I don't want to be doing this. I want to sightsee. We're in Paris. Oh, I bet you'd like this. This is nice and round. Very round. Probably her favorite thing here. That and this trash can. <laughs> Alright. Le truc de Monique. Ooh. <laughs> Like the bargains, you have come to the right place. What captures the eyes? Ooh. Well. <laughs> oh. Um. How much money do we have? 195 euros. Isn't that what I had before? Did she actually give me any money? Okay. This is just junk. <laughs> this is junk. Why is she selling junk? I don't know. All right. I mean, she probably like this can, right? Because it's round. Maybe that thing. Because it's what even is that? Is that like a fruit? I don't know. She probably might come in handy. I guess a can full of pencils, very handy, and only ten euro. Ooh, I get to bargain. I mean, it's just a can of pencils, right? Three euro. Three euros has got to be enough. Three euros would be okay. It is yours. Ooh. See anything else you like? This thing is nice and round. How expensive is this bowling ball? <laughs> oh, she's my favorite color. It is <laughs> That's very expensive. I'll give you one euro. <laughs> Alright, what about 20? Would you take 20 euros for it? It is yours. Yeah. See anything else you like? So probably as long as you don't offer her one euro, she's gonna let you have it. Nothing else looks really round, right? I mean that cone, the top is round. What is this? What's the price of this lava lamp? It's a lava lamp. The lamp is very special. The truck which rises and falls inside me, unlike any I have ever seen. Watching it be entertaining for hours. And I am selling it for only 20 euro. No. I don't want it after all. See anything else you like? No, we're good. Actually, I don't see anything else. Here, yeah, new things come and old things go all the time. You must come back. I might just do that. Au revoir. Au revoir, mademoiselle. I didn't even click on that nasty hook. Oh, I bet you'd really like that yo-yo. Give me that yo-yo. No, I don't think she'll give me the yo-yo. All right. What else? What else? What's this? Oh. Lips. Lips. All right, this guy's selling Bonjour, stuff. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Bonjour, Marchand, de Bertrand Savius. Bonjour, monsieur Marchand. Un American tourist? Sort of. 
Is that okay? I like Americans. They are smart. I said good stuff as I get there. So, what are you going to buy? Well... <laughs> what is this? Where have I seen this arm before? That is the arm of a robotic monster with a very interesting history. The police detective who sold it to me said the arm figured into the capture of a dangerous criminal who operated at an amusement park in America. I sell it to you for it in your <laughs> area steel, if you will pardon the expression. <laughs> I mean... I don't know. It, it sounds kind of like something that was a part of one of my own mysteries, but I don't recognize it, so I'm not going to get it. I changed my mind. Not interested. No. Well, definitely this round stuff. What's in here? A movie? Oui. It contains an American short film. I am not sure if it is about the beloved beast of burden in Tibet or about someone who talks about them. It has won many awards. As a fact that it is in a nice blue canister makes it well worth 84 euros. That's a lot of euros! Let, let's do the same thing we've been doing before. The, the one second from the bottom. Would you take 21 euros instead? Okay. I wonder if you actually could get anything for one euro. I wonder if you could actually get everything for one euro, and I've just been messing up this whole time. <laughs> You're selling a manhole cover? It is a genuine Parisian manhole cover, one which would make a fine souvenir for someone back home. And it is only a 45 euro. But it's yellow. <laughs> I think one euro is plenty. That, that's a decent argument. I, I don't know. But it's yellow. I think one euro is plenty. The metal it's made of is worth more than that. 45 euro, I'll take it or leave it. Oh. So now I can't even haggle more? What if I... I don't think I want it after all. What the hell is tickle the fancy? Well, what if I try again? This thing costs how much? 35 euro. Oh, man. Oh man, so if you haggle too hard, but I really need it, she's really gonna want it. All right. I'll buy it. What else do I need money for? And definitely this can. This... I never have too many of these, I guess. It is an excellent coffee can. I practically give it to you for seven euros. All right. I'll give you two euros. What the hell is tickles the fancy? So that's just it. You just choose whichever one is the second to lowest. All right. I don't want to buy anything right now. I ain't a chance to mademoiselle wish to Oh, a job. Maybe. How? The tourists, uh, they like to buy handmade equipment out of the finest works of art. But as you can see, it is difficult for me to paint them. But for a young woman such as you, it is easy. You want me to paint the reproductions? Oh, paint by number. You look at the original painting, you put paint on your brush, you paint between the lines, voila, a painting which you told us will gather up, and I pay you 15 euro for each one you complete. Do you wish to start now? That's not a great reproduction of the Mona Lisa. Um, but I think we're good for now. <laughs> we'll pick this up a little bit later, but I'm sure we'll make some really good money doing stuff like this, especially if we have to buy 45 euro manhole covers. But uh, we'll be back. <laughs>